So let's uh, try to make that a little bit more interesting. The <coughs> first thing you're probably going to want to do when you create a new application is to uh, start adding your own user interfaces to it. So the way we do that in Griffin is to ask it to create an MVC group for us. So we'll go ahead and do that, create MVC, and we'll call it cool. Now, the one problem that I found with the traditional MVC pattern when you're working with modern uh, frameworks that feature binding is that there is not a lot for the controller to do. It becomes kind of superfluous. So when I'm developing lately, I've found myself using the presentation model pattern more. And since Griffin is a very flexible framework, it supports that kind of development. Um, if I want to develop without a controller and just go with a view and a model, a presentation model, or sometimes called a view model in, .net, in the .NET world, um, all I have to do is give it this skip controller argument, set it to true, and Griffin will go ahead and generate my view and my presentation model for me and just forget about the controller. So if we go back to TextMate then, we can check out uh, the newly generated classes. So first is we'll go take a look at the cool model. Um, you can see it just has a string field that uh, is named message and it is annotated with FX bindable. Now this is one of the cool things that Jim and I have added to Groovy FX. Uh, instead of all the boilerplate associated with writing JavaFX properties, you can just annotate an existing Groovy property with FX bindable and it will generate a JavaFX object instance behind the scenes that uh, receives the, the values or, can, or from which the values can be retrieved if you do a get. Um, and it will handle all that automatically for you. So basically you, it looks like you're using a regular property but behind the scenes everything's flowing through to the underlying JavaFX property object. And in order to do things like binding or attach change listers, you need access to that underlying uh, JavaFX property. So the FX bindable is an AST transformation that will also generate a getter for the underlying JavaFX property for you. Um, this is stuff that you have to write all by hand if you're if you're doing this in Java. So, but in GroovyFX, you just say add FX bindable, and it's all taken care of for you. Now, this MVC group init uh, method is something that Griffin uh, has, and if you uh, create a method and name this in your model class, uh, then it will be called whenever a uh, MVC group, whenever this MVC group is instantiated, and it gets past a map of arguments uh, that can be filled with values passed in from other places in your application. So normally this is where you would initialize all of your model properties with the values that were passed in. Here we're just uh, initializing it to a default string that says cool group. So if we go take a look at the view that was generated for this new group, you can see it's a very simple piece of um, a very simple piece of scene graph that just uses a stack pane layout container and has a text node underneath it. Um, you can see that the text of the text node is bound to the message property of the model that we just looked at. So as I just said, what the uh, FX bindable and AST transform does is generate this getter for the underlying JavaFX property. But since we're using uh, Groovy, it allows us to write this as just message property and it will call the getter for you. It's just a convenience to save you some typing. Now if we're actually going to see this MVC group in our application, we're going to have to set the fill to white because by default it's black, just like our background. And the other thing we're going to need to add is a variable to hold the result of our stack pane declaration. Um, basically so that we can access it from other parts of our application so we can have access to this little piece of scene graph. So let's go back to our main HelloFX code and let's add our new MVC group. So we will do that by creating a VBox so that our controls will get stacked on top of each other. And we'll set the spacing between them to say 10. And then we will place our existing HBox inside the VBox. And then here we want to add our new cool group node. So 
we will do that by calling the node method and then asking our main presentation model here to create the cool view for us and then we will access that root node variable that we stored the scene graph that little piece of scene graph into um, and the other thing we'll do is we'll just change the height here so we make sure we can see everything nicely um, obviously for this to work we'll have to create a get cool view method in our main model so we'll go back to our hello fx model and we will just create a method that returns a cool view and before we return it we have to create it obviously so we will do that by calling the Griffin method create MVC group and passing it the name of the MVC group that we just created and once we have returned the model and the view parameters here and save them we can in turn return them to the caller so now we've got a get cool view method that will return the cool view class and then we access root node which will show our new text node here that's bound to the message property and let's give this a run and see how it looks All right, so once again, Griffin will go away and compile all of our sources for us. And when it's done, it will start the app and display it. So there we go. We have our JavaFX, and then we have our new uh, little piece of user interface underneath it. Um, that's about all I have time for in this first screencast. In the next one, I will uh, go into how to make this user interface a little more interesting and explore some more binding capabilities that GroovyFX and JavaFX give you. Before I go, I want to just say, though, that uh, these JavaFX plugins for Griffin should be considered highly experimental. This is just the first release. Um, for example, deployment is still something that needs to be worked on. However, if you want to prototype a JavaFX application, there's really no easier way to get started than just downloading the archetype and creating it for you with Griffin. And if you want to just play around with creating MVC groups and running the applications, obviously that works great. So it's a nice prototyping tool, and uh, please do go download it and start playing with it. And uh, give us feedback on the Griffin user mailing list if you have it. Thank you. I will see you at the next screencast.